Alright, so I am long overdue for a garden update. Um, had a really, really good harvest of strawberries this year. I made a lot of really yummy things with them. And again, you guys, like, if you do have the space and the opportunity to grow your own strawberries, do it. Because they are so, so, so much better when you grow them yourself. Let's look over at the Three Sisters. I mean, the Three Sisters is going 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 the corn the green beans are traveling way way up and if we look down here we've got the squashes coming up um, there's pumpkins planted along the back in here but I don't know that they're gonna come up because they only get the late afternoon Sun so I'm not worried though because we've got zucchini we've got yellow summer squash winter squash in here so I mean there's plenty in there and then if we come over here the onions the wind has blown them down and it looks to me like they may very well need more soil in here so that's something um i may do after we get this next uh the next couple days we're supposed to get thunderstorms so the onions are doing well the cabbage however the cabbage however is not so it's just something i mean normally cabbage is a cold a cold weather crop you guys and so i can replant for fall i may do that i don't know because just i've got so much to do you know what i mean the garlic is doing well and the potatoes are doing well so we've got our sweet potato sweet potato is vining out which there were only two so we've got one there and one over here and the rest of these guys are russets and they're doing pretty darn good this is one of the pumpkins and it has come all the way out and yep got a pumpkin but unfortunately the vine snapped right there so i don't think this pumpkin is going to make it so what i'll do is i will cut it off and that way the plant can really focus its nutrients onto other pumpkins because there's quite a few here. So yeah, the pumpkins are doing well and then we've got this is, let's see, we've got four pumpkin in here and then we've got cantaloupe and then we've got watermelon, green beans, the sunflowers, the sunflowers are getting really, really big. And this little garden box, it's on the struggle bus. I've had the herbs that I put in here, as you guys can see, the flowers, they've bolted. So they're already going to seed. I've pinched them off and pinched them off, unfortunately. So, I mean, we'll see. We will see how this goes. Um, I will say probably within the next week, if my peppers really don't take off after this rain and the warmth that we've had, then I will, I will probably buy some pepper plants because these guys are just, they're on the struggle bus. So, and then the tomatoes, the tomatoes are all doing beautifully, um, except for the fact that my Tom Turkey thought it would be really cool to uh, lay in here and just chill one evening. So um, yeah, it's gonna be time to string up these tomato plants and I'll either use steaks and garden twine or I may, the uh, little deals, uh, they were the square tomato cages, but I opened them up. I may string them up. I may put a couple of those together and string them up over here. Um, I've got lettuce that has bolted. I've got two I've got two varieties of lettuce that have bolted. <clears throat> Excuse me. The carrots are doing, and there's carrots down in here, but like I say, he he decided he would uh, chill in there. And, uh, but as you guys see, there are, there are tomatoes. And then the cucumbers, the cucumbers are doing what they're supposed to. They're traveling up this. And we've got little tiny ones. Hold on, little tiny ones. And we actually have a decent sized one in there. So, I mean, things are going. Um, I feel like everything's a lot slower than last year. 
but I mean, it is what it is. I'm still learning as far as living in this climate, this planting zone. Um, we've got the gourds, the gourd, like that one's on the struggle bus. That's one of my loofah gourds. But like that one's really starting to pop up. This one's already starting to vine. So, <clears throat> and again, uh, shame on me, but I've still got stuff in the greenhouse that needs to be uh, taken care of. Marigolds. And then these guys in here, these ones are calendula. But all the trees are doing well. I did have a deer uh, try to munch on one of the plum trees out there. And uh, so I've got a branch broken. But... There it is. Another pumpkin. But yeah, like I say, the garden's going well. The apples on the apple tree. Oh, the apple harvest is going to be... There are just... There are so many apples. And this is just one of the trees. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think... I think this apple harvest is going to be bigger than last year. Um, the wild lettuce, which is right there, is doing really, really good. Oh, they're so pretty. But yeah, I really hope everybody's garden is thriving. I really hope that any struggles you guys are having with your garden, that you're overcoming them. Always, always have a plan B.